The country, of course, is gearing up for the next big election cycle. Stephen Fulop, the mayor of Jersey City, New Jersey, has entered the state's key governor's race. He's the first candidate to formally announce his run. And here to discuss in an exclusive interview is Jersey City Mayor Stephen Fulop. Thanks so much for being with us. I mean, the election is a little bit away yep. still. So why should people already be looking at candidates and caring about this? Well, look, I, th I think it takes some time to organize and declare and get everything in order. So that obviously takes a lot of process. And then New Jersey and Virginia our off-year election so has huge national implications and if you want to be effective uh, it takes time I, I want to show this graphic here because right yeah. now when it comes to the governor's uh, race the partisan split is just about even across the country 26 states with Republicans 24 with Democrats uh, recently New Jersey has really gone either way so what does this mean what does this race mean for not just New Jersey yeah. but the rest of the country I mean look the the governorship in New Jersey has gone back and forth between you know Chris Christie to Phil Murphy prior to that Corzine prior to that Whitman so literally back and forth Republican Democrat we currently have a Democrat there for the last eight years, and uh, it's going to be really important for Democrats to hold that seat. It's kind of a bellwether for a lot of the country. So, um, you know, from my standpoint, I mean, we're going to be more than viable, but it takes time to organize. Let's talk about the issues. One of the issues a lot of people are thinking about right now is gun violence. It's affecting yeah. New Jersey. It's affecting states all across yeah. the country. As a voter, what should people be thinking about? What can you actually do? Well, look, I, I think that some people lose the you know, perspective that it really is a federal issue. I mean, New Jersey has been a leader on gun control, but places like Jersey City, we still see a lot of violence and we have to deal with it day in and day out. Um, you know, you really need advocacy at the federal level to get the changes that are necessary to replicate places like New Jersey that do have strong gun control laws. You are entering the race at a yep. time when in this country we are seeing this conversation grow over access to abortion. Do you think that conversation is going to have a big impact in elections all across this country? It is going to be one of the key issues. I mean, there's no question about it. Next year in the presidential election, it will be a key issue, especially when you see Ron DeSantis and uh, you know, former President Trump taking strong positions on the Republican side. And that just seems to, you know, really... Uh, energize the base on the Democrat side. So that'll, that'll play through for the next, I, I would assume, two years plus. One of the other things people really yep. care about is cost of living. Jersey yep. City is one of the most expensive cities yep. to live in in the country. I mean, mm -hmm. people are struggling right now. They're yeah. struggling to put food on the table. They're struggling to keep a roof over their head. What can be done? I think Jersey City is expensive largely because New York City hasn't built enough uh, market rate housing. And I think that when you look at the region, there's pressure because places like New York City haven't done their share of construction. So there is a realistic conversation around market rate housing that impacts affordable housing. Jersey City has been good on that, even though we're expensive. But you really need to be able to communicate that. I think I have a track record to do it. You are the grandson of Holocaust survivors, yeah. and back in 2019, you led Jersey City during that, that horrible shooting uh, where six people were dead. It was considered a hate crime. Yeah. Uh, the Anti-Defamation League says hate crimes are up. Yeah. Anti-Semitism is up. I think it was 36% back in 2022. So how do you stop this hate in this country? Well, and you're taking this big position. You want to take this big position yeah. as a governor. I mean, New Jersey has been good on this, and Governor Murphy has actually been very good on this as well. We see it firsthand in a place like Jersey City, the most diverse city maybe in the country, and we had uh, a hate crime where five people were shot largely because they were targeted because they were Jewish. So, you know, it's, it's your ability to call it out quickly, early, and uh, be vocal on it, and I think bring light to it. I mean, we did a good job on that front, but, you know, unfortunately see more and more gun violence and more and more hate crimes across the country, whether it's the trans community, whether it's uh, minority communities, Muslim communities. I mean, it seems like nobody is safe from being targeted, unfortunately. Yeah. We're talking about this election that's coming. There's so many people I've spoken to, they just like are over the politics. Yeah, for it sure. just feels dirty, sure. it feels nasty. How do you get those people to turn up to vote? To, to yeah. How do you convince them that it yeah. matters still? So, so I think part of the reason that we start so early is to organize around um, this need of getting younger people and people engaged. They get involved in the federal elections for president, but they turn... They don't get involved in things that impact them on the congressional front, the Senate front, or gubernatorial front. And that takes a lot of time to organize around that. So um, the reason we start early is because you want to have a policy-driven campaign. People reward you for that. The voters do that. And uh, it takes time. Well, Jersey City Mayor and candidate for New Jersey Governor Stephen Fulop, thank you so much for being with us thank today. You. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. 
there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.